Amber Heard is once again provoking Johnny Depp fans by posting Aquaman 2 teasers on her social media. As you know, there has been massive pressure on Warner Brothers to remove her from that DC movie, with Johnny Depp already removed from roles such as Grindelwald, more than 1.5 million have signed a petition demanding Heard's removal from Aquaman 2 as well. But Amber is kinda throwing that in their faces by deliberately posting about her Aquaman 2 preparations. I'll show you the posts now and why they're really making Johnny Depp fans mad. It all started with this picture that Amber Heard posted on her Instagram on April 26th. She used this post to break her silence on the whole controversy. Remember that, up until now, there had been a lot of uncertainty surrounding the release of the movie Aquaman 2. People were actually speculating that the movie had already been cancelled, but it just wasn't announced yet. To see Amber Heard happily going about her day while training for the new movie is definitely rubbing people the wrong way. She has also added a caption saying, Alexa, play piece of talk by City Girls, and added that Aquaman 2 hashtag as well. As Johnny Depp fans, all these people wish is to see her getting fired from her role, and nothing less is good enough for them. However, people are also alleging that this specific photo is a repost by Amber and the original photo was actually from 2017. I'm not really sure if Amber would go to that length just to get back at Johnny Depp's fans, but there's a very good chance that she would. As if that first post by Amber wasn't enough to make Depp fans really angry, she decided to put up a second post wearing the whole costume. I mean, that is definitely one way to provoke the people, eh? Here's her latest photo, which she posted on the 29th of April, and this time it was in the proper costume of Mira, which is going to be her official role in the movie Aquaman 2. Amber's laying on the floor with the photo captioned, Forgot My Pants. And of course, this photo has that Aquaman 2 hashtag as well. I could say in the first photo, maybe she wasn't exactly trying to provoke anyone, and it was just that, a harmless post. But when millions of people wanted you fired with a passion and you're posting costume photos on the internet of that very job, you should probably expect some people to get really pissed. You may be wondering why people want Amber Heard gone from Aquaman 2. Well, here's the thing. After Amber Heard spoke in an op-ed, it took Warner Brothers about four days to remove Johnny Depp from the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I don't know about you, but I think four days is a ridiculously small window to judge the merits or authenticity of any situation. It seems that Warner Brothers was looking for a quick fix to the huge issue that they were facing, and they figured that firing Johnny would be the answer. Instead, the internet was taken aback by that action. Twitter and other social media got swamped with heartfelt messages for Johnny Depp, and Johnny has since been grateful to his fans. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow, Hello, and I would like to swim to you, jump in your boat. What? Now support was shown for Johnny, and Amber Heard was mostly ridiculed. However, there was a huge imbalance that still continued to exist. While Johnny had been removed from multiple roles ever since the accusation, Amber Heard's career seemed to be completely unaffected. Do you think that he, his career will ever recover from this? I think Hollywood loves a comeback story. I also think that anytime you have allegations, especially in this post Me Too era, it's very hard to have a comeback. Did it affect your career when, when you stepped in the open world and you wrote this letter? Um, you know, I can't speak about that. To counter that, a petition was made on change.org. To everyone's absolute surprise, over 1.5 million people have already expressed their heavy interest in waving goodbye to Amber Heard in the movie. The people not only want the actress removed from her role, but also pledged to boycott the movie if it was ever released with her. A lot has gone down since Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp for the first time. Interestingly enough, the first time this issue was brought up after their divorce, a settlement offer of $7 million was presented to Amber Heard by Johnny. The settlement was successful and the ex-couple even issued a joint statement after that. Heard walked away with $7 million bucks, and in turn she said that no physical violence had taken place in their marriage. Similarly, it was also said that no party was in it for the money. That was basically a fancy way of saying that Amber wasn't as greedy as she appeared in that trade deal. Now, Amber Heard does say that she donated all that money to charity, but realistically, there is absolutely no way that anyone can verify the fact that she actually donated the money. 
So yeah, there's a very good chance that all that money actually went into her bank account, unless of course you want to take her word for it. I don't really trust Amber and her words at this point, but I'm sure you're capable of making up your own mind. Watch till the end to learn why I lost trust in Amber Heard. As crazy as it may sound, I have good reasons to believe that she's deliberately provoking people. After all, it wasn't long ago that Amber decided to mock Johnny Depp for the death threats he had received from her father. So, after getting accused by someone like Amber with crappy credibility, Johnny also had to face getting death threats from Amber's dad. And since Amber is great at making things worse than they are, she decided to make this video where she is practically mocking Johnny for receiving those threats. Here's the video, I'm sorry for the death threats. It ain't easy sometimes, but I appreciate it. But also, sorry for the death threats. Well, I don't believe for a second that you're sorry about anything, Amber. What an absolutely dumb way to tackle a situation. The reason I believe Amber is deliberately provoking these people and that she lied about donating the money, I'll tell you now. It makes a lot of sense if you think about it. 2020 was the year that proved terrible for Amber Heard as her entire claim of being a victim of domestic violence was put in question after some leaked voice calls. Listen to the voice calls very clearly because they are everything that stands between an honorable and a dishonorable Amber Heard. Here you go. He was last fucking night. got physically violent with me. I texted Travis. I said, come up here because no. I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's coming to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis to the rescue. No. If you listen to these call recordings, you'll know that not only did Johnny call her a liar during the same call as well, but there's also a lot of other alarming stuff happening in there. For starters, she literally confessed to physically assaulting Johnny Depp. And I, I watched you lie, and then I- I didn't I punch you, and by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. And it gets worse. At one point, she's like, hey Johnny, I never punched you. I only hit you. Well, thanks for the explanation, Amber. All this time, I thought hitting someone is exactly what physical assault is. The fact that she was the only one who made the allegation on Johnny and she was the one who would get physical against Johnny speaks volumes about her credibility. Perhaps none of them should have been fired without a proper probe into the allegations laid forward by Amber Heard. In an attempt to appear politically correct, Warner Brothers may have screwed up big time. I think that at the time of making the decision to fire Johnny Depp, Warner Brothers may have considered it an open and shut case. Considering Johnny's good reputation before this, even that comes as a surprise. But that seems to be the only reason that Johnny could have been fired. And now, not only Johnny Depp fans, but the industry itself is being affected, with rising fears that the new movie could flop considering the overwhelming support for Johnny Depp. That's all from this video, folks. What are your thoughts on the whole issue between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Remember to let me know in the comments. No matter whom you support, do say what your reasons are. Anyway, see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great day.